To, to Chris's point, I don't think it needs to be fully automated at the moment. We don't need to directly expose these things to customers, but there's a lot of very interesting things happening in, in broadly what are being referred to as co-pilots now. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, th thank you, Microsoft, for calling everything co-pilot. Um, we're, we're seeing an evolution in different products and claims of helping uh, people doing customer servicing to align to typified responses to customers. I, I saw a very interesting example, I think it was from KPMG recently, in looking at helping claim staff, uh, this is this is going to sound strange, uh, appropriately emotively respond to workers' compensation claimants to make sure that you know they they exhibit both a, a a correct response to to what's taken place to the customer who might have been terribly injured, but also you know keep it on track to make sure that the claim is appropriately dealt with and you know making sure that they understand what the next best action is should be something has typically been something that a, that a human being is solely responsible for, but homogenizing responses for for better or for worse is something that these systems are quite good at doing and analyzing in real time. And, you know, one thing that we often don't think about in, in claims processes is that where you're directly interacting with a human being, you're under quite a lot of pressure. So making sure that you've got a, a backup, as it were, you know, a, a non-human entity, dare I say, to make sure that, you know, you're following corporate process, that you're mm -hmm. responding in an appropriate way, that you know, what you're saying is in line with corporate procedure is something that reassures people quite a lot.